Hi, I'm Mike. It's March 21st, 2020, and I've got a great big, uh, huge announcement coming up here for you. Uh, something new we're going to add on to the project list and something that is going to tire you out and it's going to wear me out as well. Stick around. I'm going to tell you all about it in just a second. So I know it's not just me. The world has gone somewhat kind of crazy. I'm watching the COVID-19 you know, 19 stuff going on and watching cities shut down and, and states shut down. In fact, Wyoming uh, shut down yesterday, basically said, you know, if it's not essential, you know, you can't, you're not gonna do it. You know, this morning there was uh, a grocery store that opened here in town and there had to be cops there to make sure that um, you know nothing fishy was going on and everybody was being cool and we we lived through um, you know some of us you know we go as far back as, as JFK assassination we and the um, you know the first one that I really remember was uh, in 1986 the Challenger explosion and how that affected the nation 9/11. Uh, uh, everybody, you just wanted to get back to a sense of normal. You wanted, you wanted to your life to be normal. That's what you wanted. Now uh, we see things that we've never seen before. School being shut down. I, you know, the kids are home for for three weeks, and it's it's like nothing I've ever seen before. Uh, I can't take them to a movie. We can't go to a movie theater. We can't go to the to the to to the park, do you even feel safe going to the park? Uh, it's it's a it's a world that that we never ever would have anticipated uh, being a part of, and because of that, it changes everything, right? Like the whole the whole fabric that 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 we that we're wrapped around and that, and how that changes. I got a comment. We just I just put out a, there was a video that I put out yesterday, and that's the one where I finished up with the pipe gate. But I got a comment. And I don't know where my damn phone is. Where's my phone? Okay, I left my I left my phone on the gator, but there there was a comment, um, but uh, a comment that just said I needed a break from everything going on. This puts me back grounded and clears my head of the craziness going on around me. And it's hard for us here in Wyoming, or at least for me, because we are, you know, for lack of, you know, I mean, it's socially isolated all the time, right? So maybe we may not be socially distancing ourselves on purpose, but we're definitely isolated from the rest of the world. So how can I help uh, people see what we're dealing with and, and maybe give them a sense of normalcy in their lives where they, they have something that they can connect back to, right? So here's what I'm thinking. For the next 30 days, I want to make a commitment to make one video per day. That video will basically become a daily vlog, our life here on the ranch, how we deal with what's happening around us and how our, you know, we deal with our kids being home. Are they driving you crazy? They're driving me crazy sometimes already, and they haven't been home that long. So we take, we're going to take what we deal with on a, on a daily basis, from the farm store to the, um, the the house across the road to the Airbnb to you know how how all of this is affecting the ranch. What what we're going to have for dinner? How how we have freezers full of meat, you know, but also we're selling meat like crazy. People are buying meat. So how do we how do we decide where to draw that line and and uh, you know save what we need and also be able to support our community? And we want to be able to show everybody what what's going on uh, with this situation. Most of all, I, I want somebody to be able to look back, right? Because you see the world differently at the time, but you don't remember that. Do you remember how everybody felt the day after 9-11? I remember standing out in front of a convenience store and, and watching a plane fly over uh, not too long after 9-11 and going, oh my gosh, what's going on? Uh, 
that's the thing that I want people to be able to to remember and, and be able to communicate to other people down the line about what happens over the next 30 days here in Wyoming or, or Chicago or North Carolina or wherever you're at. The, the world is not going to be the same. Trust me. It's not going to be the same afterwards and none of us are going to be the same afterwards either. So. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invite you to come along with us for the next 30 days. Every day, is, it's not going to be a, um, a, a day in the life every single day. It can't be. But what I can do is take you through the high points of what we have going on that day, sometimes the low points. I can, like I said, I can show you what we had for dinner or what we're having for dinner and how, how we can survive off the ranch or what we can't survive with on the ranch. Uh, I'm gonna take you through some of the busiest times that we have coming up, which is calving. We're gonna be busy with calving. We're gonna have night checks. We're gonna get tired. We're gonna be out all night long. We're gonna be dealing with sick calves. We're gonna be doing all this and we're gonna, all, we're gonna do it all day by day and we're going to do it all together so if you hate the idea i don't really care i'm going to do it myself because i want to do it for myself i'm going to try to keep this going for 30 days maybe longer if it works i mean it's it's going to be interesting i'm going to film throughout the day i'm going to come in we're going to have family time i'm going to put the kids to bed and then i'm going to go edit every single night i'm going to get a little bit sleep deprived at times probably and maybe i'll go a little crazy but if I do, that's a good thing. So this is number one. This is just what it is. I've got stuff to go do. I've got to go feed the cows. I've got to, uh, I don't know what, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out what I'm going to do and we're going to do it together. And when I say in a video that we are going to go do something, I know you're not here. I'm not crazy. But I also know that without you guys, this ranch, wouldn't be here right now. I know that's hard to believe, and I know there's a lot of stuff that um, you guys might not be, you know, in on and all that kind of stuff. But re really, I can tell you that without YouTube, we would not be here right now. And that is the, the honest to God truth. And that's some of the stuff that you're going to see as you get a chance to travel around with me for an entire month and see what Aaron and I are doing, see what the kids are doing, see what our neighbors are doing, see what our family is doing, and follow along because you're going to get way more information than you've ever had before so i hope that you're you're willing to do it if you haven't subscribed up until now make sure that you hit the subscribe button turn on the notifications those videos are going to be coming out every single day every morning i'm going to show you the day before and what i did and how we dealt with being right here in our wyoming life forgot my phone aaron told me to take down the open sign I almost forgot to do, well, it's not really a sign, it's a flag, but Aaron told me to take it down. <laughs> I forgot. Oops.